So historic preservation has always been close to our hearts here at the Goodwin Company. The reclaimed heart pine and heart cypress that we mill on a daily basis into tongue and groove flooring and paneling is oftentimes specified for those projects by architects. We're members of the Florida Trust for Historic Preservation. And at the annual conference of that organization, many projects that we've supplied material for have been recognized and given awards. But the truth is, is that every historic structure can't be salvaged. And when 19th century industrial buildings have to come down, we work with demolition contractors who professionally salvage, professionally dismantle those buildings, gather up the heart pine beams, and sell them to us. So each one of the longleaf uh, beams that you see behind me lined up on the saw deck was an individual longleaf pine tree growing in a southern forest. But when that forest was originally harvested, the heart pine didn't stay in the south. The majority of it went to New England and to the Midwest. A lot of it went all around the world. So if you go to uh, the cities of New York and Cincinnati and Cleveland and Chicago and you go into 19th century industrial buildings, say textile mills and warehouses, what you'll find in there is longleaf pine beams like this that were the structural bones of those buildings. It was steel before steel. Through the process of demolition, these beams have made their way back down south. And what we'll do is metal detect them, clean them, denail them, put them up on our saw deck, and turn them into lumber that will be turned into uh, more lumber and tongue and groove flooring and paneling. So you would be amazed at the cleaning process that has to go on to get these beams to a point of uh, being able to saw them. We just did a project where we cleaned roughly 80 beams, heart pine beams, just like these, and collected up a 55 gallon drum full of iron nails. A 55 gallon drum full of iron nails. People would be amazed at the labor that goes into cleaning these beams to get this antique wood ready to be turned into flooring and paneling. It's one of the key differences between this and our other product, River Recovered Heart Pine. The River Recovered Heart Pine never had nail one put into it, it never made it down river, never made it to a mill, and never was turned into a structural member. This material here was. So to walk you through the process just a little bit, once these beams are cleaned and denailed sufficiently, they come up on the log deck, they go through our 30-foot bandsaw, they go down onto the saw room floor where they're graded for select, vertical, naily, and character, and then their ends are waxed and they hid to the dry kiln. Importantly, as a manufacturer of reclaimed heart pine, Goodwin kiln dries its legacy heart pine beams. They're already air dried, but kiln drying is the only way to mitigate for mold and insects. Once the kiln drying place, uh, process takes place, that lumber then goes into the molder room and it's molded into tongue and groove flooring and is ready to go out the door. Now, some of the local projects here in Gainesville, Florida that we've provided legacy building reclaimed heart pine for are the old train depot and uh, the 1926 Firestone building. If you ever get a chance to see those buildings, you'll see our legacy heart pine in action. It's beautiful stuff. We're privileged to work with it. It's a piece of American history.